Hey guys, we have this iPad Air 1 board here that's not charging or turning on. It's drawing 0.1 amps when it's plugged in and assembled. Um, so let's switch over to the overhead camera view here. All right, so we have the board. Um, we have a known good LCD. We're going to connect our DC power supply. So we're going to connect our uh, ground and then connect this one here on the battery line. Make sure that the red connector is not touching ground. Looks good. Alright, now we can connect our screen. I'm going to enable our DC power supply. It's drawing zero. Now we'll plug in a charger. So as soon as I plug in the charger, it jumps up to 240 milliamps. If I unplug the charger, we're at 420 milliamps. So it's behaving like there's some kind of short on the device. I don't feel any warm areas, but I'm going to turn off the power supply here and unplug our screen. We don't need it yet while we diagnose what appears to be a short. Um, we're going to grab thermal view. Let's see here. Let's place the board in the, under the thermal camera, enabling our DC power supply and plugging in charger. So we can actually see <coughs> a section of the board that's heating up here. Looks like we do have a short. Let's grab some freeze spray, see if we can identify the exact component, which is the problem. Enabling DC power supply and plugging in power. So right there we've identified the component U8350 is heating up. Let's measure around this component, see exactly which line is short. No short there. Full short here. So we are short on PP3V3 SW. All right, let's start by eliminating the variable U8350. Let's grab our hot air station. As expected, these shorts still exist, uh, but now that uh, this chip is removed, we may be able to easier, more easily identify where the short is. All right, so I've enabled um, DC power supply. So now we're drawing um, much less, uh, 70 milliamps, but still a short. Let's see if we can see it on the thermal view here. Looks like we might have to inject voltage directly into the line here. All right, so we're going to inject the voltage over here on this capacitor. Soldering the wire. going to solder the other end of this wire to our alligator clip. Okay. We'll connect our black alligator clip uh, to ground. So now we have the board hooked up to DC power supply, but it's connected directly into that uh, shorted line, the three volt line. We're just going to start by injecting one volt into the line. and switch over to the thermal view. And 
and inject voltage in three, two, one. So we can see something heating up there. Right here uh, beneath the NAND. So let's uh, check in ZXW uh, on that three volt line. So we do have these three caps in that area. So it looks like one of these caps is short to ground, has become a wire. So right here is our point of focus. Let's grab thermal, or sorry, free spray. And inject voltage. So we have identified the problem cap. Let's remove it from the board here. So this cap is the problem. It had a uh, became a wire and shorted the PP3V3 line right to ground. So now that it's removed, let's test in diode mode over here. We have a normal reading. So we can now remove this line, this jumper line. And add some extra flux here. Tim these pads. that component installed and I'll just throw a, a new cap back onto this 3v3 line all right now that the cap is replaced uh, we'll do one final test on the line Good, so let's switch to the overhead camera view. Turn off our fume extractor. Perfect, so booted right up to the operating systems, iPad has been repaired.